If there's a truth we know here in South Africa is that being connected means never having to say you're sorry or even acknowledge that there's anything dodgy that happened. What apology for what? Apology for what? For instance, you all know and remember our ex-ex-ex police commissioner, the one who dared the Scorpions to come and arrest him. Then when they called his bluff and got him convicted of corruption, all of a sudden he developed a terminal allergic reaction to prison. No, that place is rough. I can't go there. Ah, it's painful. Ah, ah, ah. Apparently this week, the Freedom Front's Peter Grunewald was all over Ria Piecha's case when she appeared in Parliament. He wanted to know if Jackie Silibe had repaid any of the 17 million rand that the government had spent in helping him fight his case. Now, we don't want to be on the side of right-wing nationalists, but, you know, she had a very weird response to the question. There are areas where there's been winning and there's areas where there's been losses, so that process took some time. Once that is done, you need to allow the lawyers of the person in question to respond to what is represented before them. I think what Ria Pecha was telling the Freedom Front was, uh, you guys must forget about that man here. Yeah? Full tech, basically, if you're connected, it means you never have to say you are sorry. And then you've got the ultimate example of this very point. Because 25-year-old Tutukile Zuma, the daughter of President Jacob Zuma and African Union President Kosasana, uh, uh, Lamine Zuma has been appointed to the position of Chief of Staff in the Department of the Telecommunication and Postal Services. Daddy, why did you decide to have so many children? <laughs> and his answer was, <clears throat> well, my dear, I am increasing the vote of the ANC. Personally, I find her very charming. Now, what's the big deal, you say? Maybe the young lady is super talented. And with so much leadership blood flowing through her veins, why would she not be at the top levels of government? But the thing is, she only graduated two years ago. And guess, South Africa, where her first job was. Mm -hmm. Working as a public liaison officer for Siabonga, my wife is still in Clarks, well, at the Ministry of State Security. Now, a year later, he becomes the new minister of telecoms and she gets a cushy 900,000 rand a year job in a very senior position in his department. The department was asked why they had appointed such a young and inexperienced person to the position. And they said that the minister only considered her capacity to do the job and her qualifications. What I think they were trying to say is that uh, the minister considered the fact that the candidate can just call daddy. Maybe she is super qualified. Maybe we are being harsh. We decided to investigate here at Late Night News because that's how we roll. News that moves. ENCA.com.